All right, guys, I am back and this is for day 21. And we're gonna do something a little bit different because I think I showed at the very beginning my printer cut her off. But she's adorable and I still wanna use her. So um, yeah, we're gonna make a journal card instead of a um, tag because this one also got cut off and I don't know if you can kind of tell but it's a bit wonky on the side. So I, um, I love the background. I'm gonna love it for these girls but I'm just gonna cut the tag piece off and then we're gonna just make adjustments that way. Um, that way we just kind of clean it up. We still get to use the color. Um, yeah, with the like little wood grain, it kind of reminds me of a Christmas tree. And so yeah, I'm, that's what we're gonna do. So we're at about three and a quarter. So I'm gonna do three, I'm gonna make it just a tiny bit bigger and do three and a half. And then I gotta measure this if I'm, yeah, it's about five and a half. So we'll make it about, we'll just hang it off the edge there a little bit. And then we'll adjust, adjust whatever we need to adjust. Yeah, we're off just a, just like a whole bunch. <laughs> well, not a whole bunch, but enough, enough that we're just going to kind of eyeball it here now. And that'll be good enough. Good enough. Okay. All right, so let's get started. Oh, I don't want my cutter on that side. All right. Um, ink, ink first. Bring it in just a little bit so we don't have those white edges. And we are going to use my gold on the edges. And I'm not going to do one of the edges. Um, I'm going to ink everything first that we want to we want to do. You know what he wants, right? I know. We give them cat treats, and um, yeah, they're they're pretty fussy this morning because mom wasn't giving in. It's like they weren't giving me any sugar, so they weren't getting any treats. It's like that's how that's how this works, kids. Mom, mom wants treats or wants sugar, and you. Oh, Christmas tree. That's I was like, I know we had. I had a Christmas tree one. What the heck? <laughs> well, that's interesting, huh? Oh, that's a little wonky. Try to wonky out the top of it too. The moment your scissors decide they have a mind of their own, right? The scissor and the brain don't match. <laughs> We may decide to back that in a minute, but all right. So we're gonna have to make quick work of this one, as far as uh, getting so that we don't get stuff mixed around here.
hate it when your finger has a mind of its own. Oops. All right. That is not going to bode well for long-term success here. I'll make sure I got it all off so I don't get it all over the black. I mean, we are going to edge the black, but... I think this is kind of the last video this morning that I'm going to do. Um, Grace and I are going to get ready to go to that craft show. And then when we get back, I'll probably film like two, three, maybe four more. And then... bring her in just a tiny bit and I'm just going to glue as I go and organize as I go if that makes any sense because um, we're going to do something just a tiny bit different on this edge I mean not really probably any different than any other one but I'm gonna layer the girls up. I want to start watching those, um, the video that the other, like, uh, Tracy's creative team has put together. Um, I'm going to start watching those here this afternoon, too, maybe. Um, for lack of better words, probably mostly, like, background um, while I'm cleaning and I'll occasionally. I, I'm sure a lot of you guys do that, too, because I don't usually have a whole lot of time to watch videos these days so uh, yeah I want to get that started and I gotta clean my bathroom and you know get ready for the week and fold my clothes and so when I'm able to kind of do that then I'll um, turn on YouTube and start watching these other wonderful creators. Okay. Try to go around the edges here. If you're gonna use these and you're new to them, it is at actually really essential to really start wiping your fingers off before you touch any more of your project. Cause that stuff, it's kind of heat based too. So the hotter it gets, the more it's gonna spread. Um, Christmas tree on black as well, right? Yeah. I'm taking as much off of this one as I probably normally would. 
um, because since I cut it wonky, um, once I start putting the um, dots on, the um, liquid curls, I'm gonna wanna put it on this and I won't be able to put it on just the word like I have in the other ones, so. going too fast for my own good. Hopefully my glue isn't like crazy. Okay. Yeah, this gold stuff, or really any of the pastes, once they get heat activated, they like to really run. Run for the gold metal there. And I actually don't, I, originally, I was gonna put like, some lace down here like this, to kind of cover, to cover that, but I actually kind of think she looks okay. Like it looks almost like it was planned. So I'm gonna leave it, cause I kind of like it that way. I wouldn't normally, but. Gold around the black. Hopefully I can get kind of just a nice little line on all of them. I said in another video that the darker ones here, I'll just uh, back them off camera so you don't have to, have to watch that either. Okay. Nice little black and gold trim thing there. Okay, now we're gonna polish it off with our liquid pearls in the corners. See what I mean? And it starts, like, you gotta get the flakes and everything out, or else it's really gonna start messing with your project. And I've got one, actually two little pieces here that I don't want to uh, mess us up here. Okay, now the liquid pearl, and then we will call this one a video. We are complete. Woo I love this one. I think they're cute. Let me scoot it and get it off. There we go. There is day 21. All right, guys, thank you for joining me, and we will just talk to you soon. Bye, guys.